Hey there and welcome back to EV Equity Edge, your go-to place for all things electric vehicle stocks. I'm your host, and today we're going to take a deep dive into Tesla's performance on July 11, 2023. We've got some interesting moves on the charts, a mix of headlines, and important levels of resistance and support to discuss. Remember, we're going to slice and dice it all, the price action, the news, and the potential forecast. Now, let's get charged up and dive right into the thick of it. All right folks, so what's the word on Tesla Street? Well, the stock opened the day at $268.53, only to close slightly up at $269.79. It's a tiny 0.07% gain, but hey, breaking Tesla's three-day losing streak is not to be overlooked. Looking at the day's high and low, we saw the stock ping-ponging between $270.90 and $266.37. It gives us a relatively modest daily range of 1.68%, suggesting somewhat of a tug-of-war between the bulls and bears, without either taking a definitive lead. Now, if you're eyeing the 52-week high of $314.67, today's close still leaves a $44.88 gap. That's a significant climb, and we'll be watching closely to see if Tesla takes on that challenge in the coming sessions. On to volume, today's trading was a bit quieter, with only 91.24 million shares changing hands, noticeably below the average volume of 138.11 million. Perhaps many traders were observing, deciding their next moves. And of course, let's not overlook the importance of yesterday's support and resistance levels. Yesterday's resistance at $271.87 stood firm as today's bulls couldn't muster the strength to reach that peak. On the other hand, the bears weren't quite fierce enough to drag us down to yesterday's support level at $264.86. Remember, these levels aren't arbitrary. They're crucial psychological benchmarks for traders, and when a stock is dancing around these levels, it can suggest some interesting market sentiments. So, what's stirring the pot in the Tesla universe? Well, the headlines are pretty intriguing today. Let's dive right in. The first piece we're looking at is titled, Shares of Tesla Incorporated Stock Rises Tuesday, Still Underperforms Market. Indeed, while Tesla did see a slight rise of 0.07%, it was a bit of a wallflower in an overall positive trading session for the stock market. This underperformance might raise a few eyebrows considering the general optimism in the market today. And it's not just about the present, there's some past context here too. The report highlights that today's gain snapped a three-day losing streak for Tesla, perhaps indicating a reversal of the recent bearish trend. Or, it could just be a blip in an ongoing downward trajectory, only time will tell. Moving on to the second headline, Tesla surge, will it help reflate the EV bubble? Comma we see some thought-provoking speculations. As the title suggests, the question here is whether Tesla's resurgence will breathe life back into the somewhat deflated EV sector. In this context, the piece talks about the EV bubble that burst spectacularly early last year, in 2021. Companies that saw their stocks soar during the bubble's peak lost significant portions of their market cap when the bubble burst. However, the resurgence in Tesla's stock seems to be creating a ripple effect, sparking hope and perhaps reigniting interest in the EV sector as a whole. Now, here's where it gets interesting. Despite the troubles many EV companies faced post-bubble, Tesla's recent rally seems to have set off a domino effect. The question that's arising now is whether Tesla's strong performance could lead to a reflation of the EV bubble. Could the success of one player spark a sector-wide comeback? It's also worth noting how Tesla's record deliveries are influencing this dynamic. These record numbers underscore the growing global demand for electric cars, a trend that was a key driver of the original EV stock bubble. Could we be seeing a similar trend line up again? In short, the news today seems to revolve around Tesla's performance in contrast to the overall market, and the potential impact its recent success could have on the broader EV sector. While Tesla may have underperformed the market today, its recent successes could have far-reaching implications, especially for other players in the EV sector. Moving on to what the future holds for Tesla's stock, there's a lot to consider based on our resistance and support points. First off, let's talk resistance. As we mentioned earlier, the next points of resistance going higher are at $276.39, $283.16, and the formidable $288.81. Now, as traders and investors, these are the levels we're watching closely. If the price can break through these points, we might see a continuation of the current bullish sentiment and potentially even more upward movement. 
but resistance isn't the only thing we need to consider. Our support levels are just as important. Going lower, our support points stand at $263.97, $258.32, and finally at $251.55. These numbers are crucial. They represent the levels at which buying pressure could potentially be strong enough to reverse a downtrend. If Tesla's stock price does start to fall, these support levels could be the safety nets that prevent a further drop. But let's add some more layers to our analysis. Taking into account Tesla's recent surge and the bullish sentiment reflected in the market, we might anticipate the stock testing the first resistance level at $276.39. However, this is where the broader market context becomes crucial. With global macroeconomic factors at play and the news headlines influencing investor sentiment, the stock's performance could swing either way. Should the bullish sentiment continue, we might see the stock push past its first resistance level, with $283.16 and $288.81 as the next hurdles. On the flip side, if there are shifts in the market environment or investor sentiment, the stock might retreat and seek support at the identified levels. The potential for volatile movements in Tesla's stock price makes it all the more important for us to keep a close eye on these key support and resistance levels. They serve as our guideposts in the fluctuating landscape of the stock market. Remember, folks, in trading and investing, it's all about staying informed, agile, and ready for whatever the market throws our way. Now, that wraps up our deep dive into Tesla's stock for today. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss our next analysis. Let us know in the comments what other stocks you're interested in hearing about. Remember, stay sharp, stay focused, and keep looking towards the future.